Hello there everybody, my name is Arseni, welcome back to Eduonics. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the top 5 technologies that you should learn right now in 2018. So anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, so starting off with number 5, this is going to be web development. So this sort of seems like the most obvious one, and this is sort of one that uh, maybe um, it doesn't make much sense to learn nowadays. Maybe the market's starting to shrink ever, or maybe at least it's not keeping the growth that it was before. But nevertheless, this is still a very, very relevant skill. And if you want the fastest way to go from not knowing about programming and not being a professional programmer to being a professional programmer, this is most definitely the way to go as web development has taken over over literally pretty much every aspect of modern software development. Desktop applications are practically dead. Um, uh, mobile applications development is, is it's feasible and it is very much growing, but nevertheless, it is very, quite difficult to learn and get into. So I would say web development is, uh, it's, it's, it's probably gonna be there for at least a decade or so more. And uh, it most definitely is, uh, in today's world, very, very uh, useful a skill to have. And it most certainly is in demand. How can you start learning web development? Well, we have some great tutorials on Eduonics on for uh, starting web development. Uh, I myself have created a few. I've, I've recently published a uh, um, full stack Java and Angular course. Um, you know, that just, there's, Angular is a popular front end framework. Um, I use a Spring for Java, which is a popular back-end framework in the course. And so that sort, of, that sort of shows off the entire process of developing web applications. But both Angular and Spring are mainly used for enterprise applications. So that's maybe not what, where you really want to start as a, uh, as a web developer. But nevertheless, you get the idea. We have other courses there as well. Uh, we have a just complete web development course and so on and so on. There are a ton of courses on Eduonix. And online as a whole, there are a ton of resources as well to get started. So that's probably number five. Um, and uh, the last thing I want to say here about web development is that as a lot of other technologies start to take over, like, you know, machine learning, things like that, as a lot of that starts to take over the market of software development, they're still going to need somebody to program in ways of controlling the, the machine learning, ways of, you know, marketing uh, machine learning products and so on and so on. So don't think that anybody that says that uh, you know machine learning is going to replace programmers um, doesn't know what machine learning is. Anyway, so other than that, then that is all for number five. Let's have a look at number four now. Okay, and number four is going to be DevOps. So development operations or DevOps for short. Um, essentially, it's the process of combining software development and software operation. Um, so what that means is that uh, we have uh, developing software, just writing code that runs the software, and then um, actually maintaining the software and operating the software is taking that code and up uploading it to a server, and then managing how that server you know, deals with resources, and so on and so on. So every software develop developer, to a certain extent, knows DevOps, but people who are DevOps engineers tend to be in much higher demand, and DevOps as a whole is a very, very lucrative uh, skill to know in 2018 um, in the technological market. So if you want to get started with DevOps, surprisingly enough, Ijuanix also has some great courses on it. But development app operations, I would say, isn't quite as easy to learn as web development because de de DevOps is essentially just a ton of different knowledge that you need to know. So you do need to know software development to an extent, and um, I really wouldn't say that there is such a thing as a junior DevOps developer. I would say that, uh, you know, um, if you're a DevOps developer, you have to be at least, you know, intermediate level or preferably a senior. So it's definitely not as simple to get into as web development. Okay, so now that we went ahead and uh, talked a little bit about uh, DevOps, let's go ahead and actually get into our third technology, which is going to be AR or augmented reality. So augmented reality, now this was sort of a, a personal pick of mine because I love augmented reality and I love the idea of augmented reality, but it certainly is a growing skill. So there, there is certainly um, demand for this. If you actually take a look at Upwork's um, amount of jobs posted, in, uh, in 2017, AR was one of the highest, um, you know, 
um, had, had experienced some of the highest growth of any technology uh, for the amount of jobs that are posted for it. So most definitely a uh, um, a cool technology, and as as we can see, it is uh, in demand. Now you do need to know mobile development for this. Uh, personally, I would say that Apple's AR Kit is a lot more advanced than Google's AR Core, just because Apple generally does things a little bit a little bit better when it comes to software development. Um, but nevertheless, um, nevertheless, uh, Google's AR Core is still good. But you do need to know mo mobile development in order to start developing AR applications. And uh, it, it's also important to learn graphics, so how to design 3D graphics, that's also important. And uh, so yeah, so I'd say this is quite difficult to get into. And uh, generally on this list, I think the thing that it would be easiest to get into is web development, especially if you're a beginner. But nevertheless, um, it is still doable and there are some great courses online about augmented reality as well. Okay, uh, moving on into our second pick. This is going to be blockchain. So blockchain is most definitely going to be not going anywhere. So there are a ton of jobs about blockchain engineers. Um, now, when people say blockchain, usually they just think, uh, oh, cryptocurrency, right? Well, yeah, I mean, cryptocurrency is great, and a lot of people really want, to want cryptocurrency developers. There are definitely there is definitely no shortage in demand for developers of cryptocurrencies. But blockchain is a lot more than cryptocurrency. The idea of blockchain can be applied to many, many industries. And uh, so yeah, so definitely an in-demand skill to learn for sure. So to get started with blockchain, Eduonix also has some great courses on that. But uh, as a whole, just like with pretty much everything else on here, uh, except I would say maybe AR, there are, there are a ton of different re of resources online to get into blockchain as well. And finally, rounding out our entire video with our number one pick is going to most definitely be machine learning. So machine learning is, it's very hot right now and everybody wants machine learning engineers everywhere in Silicon Valley, um, practically every single tech company um, is is trying to get the best machine learning engineers that they as they that they can, and it is most certainly a very very in demand skill. Uh, machine learning engineers at Google have salaries in the millions, um, although most likely to be a machine learning engineer at Google that has a salary in the millions, you would probably need to uh, probably spend a few million on education to get to that level. But even if you even if you don't uh, you know want to even if you don't become a millionaire a machine learning engineer at Google. You can still become a machine learning engineer somewhere else, um, and maybe the salaries won't be quite as high as they are at Google. Nevertheless, they are still very, very in demand, and salaries for them are really quite high. Because, uh, and we can see that with the trends, usually for a, uh, a machine learning engineer that is at least somewhat competent, um, you can expect uh, maybe $100,000 a year, easy, in the United States. So yeah, most definitely a very in demand skill, and I don't see demand for this, um, you know, falling anytime soon. If you want to learn machine learning, um, you may probably see where I'm headed with this. Eduonix also has some great courses. Now, I don't teach a lot of these courses, but nevertheless, they are still quite great. They do adhere to um, quite strict quality standards. So definitely um, great courses on pretty much all of this stuff on Eduonix you can find. Okay, so that's going to round out our video for the top 10 to top five, I don't know where top 10 came from, from the top five technologies to learn right now in 2018. Um, some quick honorable mentions are going to be um, Internet of Things, that's also Internet of Things, that's also a very, very, uh, very um, growing industry um, in the field of technology, and also um, Big data. So big data is also quite important. Um, you know, the Hadoop and uh, things like that uh, most definitely are in demand and will be rising as the amount of data that companies store is uh, is very much uh, very large. So I'm sure we've all seen that. Uh, you know, what 90% of the world's data has been created in the last two years. Um, I don't quite know how accurate that statistic is, but nevertheless, I would I, I would believe it, or at least that it's somewhere near there. So yeah. Okay, and uh, that concludes the top five technologies to learn right now in 2018. 
um, with, with two honorable mentions as well. Um, uh, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, um, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Although I think personally that YouTube went a bit too far with their, uh, machine learning. Um, because at this point I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm 90% sure that at this point, um, what YouTube does with their, um, whole platform is just a machine. There's, they, they just ask the machine what to do. Um, there's a, just a neural network and, uh, sometimes it gives them a correct answer. Sometimes it doesn't, but, uh. Either way, uh, usually somehow they, they, they pull out of it. So, uh, yeah, I think they're, they get, I mean, uh, maybe they got machine learning and artificial intelligence confused somehow, but whatever. Anyway, you should definitely subscribe though and hit that notification bell so that at least sometimes you're going to get, edit, you know, videos because I don't mean to brag, but, uh, if you want videos are the best videos, I'm not, I don't mean to brag though. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Till soon. Oh, 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 oh,